Supreme Court supports Native American adoption law. In a 7-2 vote, the Supreme Court dismissed a challenge to the Indian Child Welfare Act, ICWA, a federal law enacted in 1978 to safeguard Native American children and preserve tribal heritage. The court's ruling emphasized that the preference given to Native Americans in the adoption process does not constitute racial discrimination. Writing the majority opinion, Justice Amy Coney Barrett explained that the challengers lack the legal standing to contest the constitutionality of the preference provisions under the Equal Protection Clause of the 14th Amendment. Barrett clarified that the responsibility for enforcing these provisions lies with state courts and agencies. Although the court did not address the Equal Protection claim, it affirmed that Congress has the authority to legislate on this issue, effectively upholding the Indian Child Welfare Act. However, two conservative justices, Clarence Thomas and Samuel Alito, dissented from the majority opinion. This ruling brings immense relief to Native American tribes, who expressed concerns that the law could be weakened or invalidated. The Indian Child Welfare Act was enacted as a response to a history of Native American children being disproportionately separated from their families by state and federal authorities. The challengers in this case were led by Chad and Jennifer Brackeen, a white evangelical Christian couple who sought to adopt a Native American boy. The states of Texas, Indiana, and Louisiana also joined the challenge. It is important to note that the Brackeens had previously adopted the child, after a potential placement with a Navajo family did not materialize. They are also seeking to adopt the child's half-sister, who currently resides with them. The Biden administration and five tribes the Navajo, Cherokee, Anita, Quinault Indian Nations, and the Morongo Band of Mission Indians defended the Indian Child Welfare Act stressing its significance in preserving tribal identity. The Supreme Court's decision comes after the Fifth U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals issued a divided ruling last year, leading both sides to appeal to the highest court. A district judge had previously declared the law unconstitutional. It is worth noting that the Supreme Court has been closely divided on Native American issues in recent years. In 2020, the court expanded tribal authority in Oklahoma in a 5-4 ruling authored by Justice Neil Gorsuch. However, in a subsequent case seeking to limit the impact of the earlier ruling, the court reversed course in a 5-4 decision, granting more power to the states over tribes in certain instances.